Hello, and welcome back to Caves of Good. Oh, there's a lot of business over there. You know what? This is a perfect geomagnetic disk time, I think. Doesn't really seem to be working as intended. I thought it was supposed to bounce. Hmm, flinch is out of the way. Oh, I see. These, these guys have a very high DV, so the geomagnetic disk is actually not going to work very well. Probably I want high explosive grenades for for these lads. I hate to, the crypt ferrets are, are really nasty. This is like one of my favorite parts of the entire game, I will say. Um, I love these, the, the, like this whole like garden is just one of the coolest dungeon ideas I've ever seen in a game. Um, I, I love, like, the enemies here are really cool. Um, the ferrets, conceptually, are a really clever obstacle because they basically almost ensure that you will get, uh, tethered. So what do we have here? Wet reliquary. I don't know. I don't see a... a nothing in that. Okay. Uh, and there's a, a lot of really n nice treasure here to, to be collected in the form of, um, you know, grave robbing, basically. And uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of that. The the major risk involved with uh, grave robbing in the Tomb of the Eaters is that uh, you have to fight these kind of nasty robots that are here purely to, uh, purely to kind of defend and guard the tombs. Yeah, since these ferrets have such high AV, or sorry, high DV, they're they're really hard to hit, and um, so they have a you know they they, they just kind of latch onto you and and keep you rooted in place, uh, and then they're really hard to kill. So they're they're a real pain in the butt. You are not recalled because I am tomb tethered. Nice. So here is, uh, wow, the staircase is right there, huh? Um, here's here's the, the thing in question at Crypt Sitter. Uh, when I said in the beginning of this whole business that we were going to rob this place blind, uh, what I really meant is I am totally content destroying these things because one of the things that is really good against them is um, perma-stunning them. So we're not always going to get lucky. Um, sometimes we're just going to get grave goods. And that's fine. Grave goods are fine. Hey, there's Ka. You know, I could try and make good, uh, make things right with Ka by, by freeing them. And then I'll just like, I'm going to make a note here. I've got my little notebook. You know, it's good to have a little notebook in front of you with a, with a, uh, you know, gave. I guess, I guess if I give Ka... The repulsive device, it ensures that we can't give it to all of them in this run. I'm assuming you can't use uh, polymorphic or meta metamorphic polygel on, on, on the repulsive device and then give it to all of them. That would that would be kind of absurd, wouldn't it? I don't really want to waste the polymorphic on on uh, on the repulsive device to find out. So let's do things right. This is going to, at the very least, ensure that I have to get to the Tomb of the Eaters three more times in future runs. So let's do that. The creature silhouette lacks any means to make sound, save for the pointed tips of its six flexible legs. These tap against the ground like a sparse but heavy, heavy rainfall on a scrap metal roof as the strange pseudo beast skitters away from predicted or perceived threats. I offer you this repulsive device, unique one. Ka skitters away, but soon returns and skitters away a shorter distance. Whether because of your words or because you are still, its desire for flight ebbs over the course of a minute until its escape attempts halt. Here, take it. Takes the repulsive device. You offer the repulsive device. As it nears the shining, dark surface of Ka's hide, a sudden fervor seizes the device, and it twists itself free. Latching onto the entity with the hooked teeth of its mouth-like appendage, 
Ka scrabbles to escape again, but its limbs twist and collapse, rubbery and useless. Ka flails for a moment, for a few moments before going completely limp. For a time, it is still. When it once again moves to clamber to the points of its shaking legs, Ka speaks in a smooth, buzzing voice. I feel calm. Are you all right? I am weary to my core, but at alas, this once hateful body obe obeyeth me. I thank thee for restoring my autonomy. Memory of my once self doth elude me, but I recognize the irony of my punishment. Once a strider, then sentenced to stride without restraint forever. I knew only fear and flight no more. What will you do now? I shall enjoy my free mobility freely for a time. After that, I do not know. I may speak to these Mopango creature that named me and find a purpose with them. I cannot ever repay th their care, but, her but perhaps I may repay, repay thine. I would, wouldst fain offer thee a fragment of this form come loose. Mayest thou ever run free. You have completed the quest, Fraying Favorites. You receive Ka's Loop. Interesting. And you have an herbary. I'll, I'll buy her an herbary. So, what is Ka's loop? That sounds like a unique item. Is it in trinket? No. Uh, is it in armor? Yes. It provides 1 DV. Wearer may take any action while sprinting at no additional penalty. Ah, huh. Where does this go? Does it go on the arm? That's kind of nice. Um, maybe we wear it instead of a compass bracelet for now? Probably instead of the wrist blade, huh? So yeah, that's that's really good. I imagine that's a lot better than I than than it sounds. I don't do a lot of sprinting, but I might. Um, with that in mind, I'm pretty sure that is something good on the ground. Sappy overloaded laser pistol. Something died over here. Ka is uh, fighting stuff. Okay, so cool. We completed that quest and I did get the achievement one fourth. I got one fourth of the achievement, if that makes sense. Uh, and we're gonna continue on. We're gonna fight some stuff. Nothing in that, okay. Um, we're gonna wait a hundred turns. Oh, there's a crypt ferret. We'll wait a hundred turns so that we uh, don't get recalled. I'm, I'm just gonna hold the button down. I'm gonna commit a cud sin here and um, hold the button down so I don't have to actually wait. All right, so we're good now. Let's move on. Try and find some more stuff to rob. I haven't really found anything good yet. I mean, like besides Ka's loop, that's great. But haven't really found anything good in these uh, tombs. Generally, I mean, these tombs are owned by, um, you know, the original true kin, right? Um, basically, you know, the, the sultans, and the sultans were true kin. And so, therefore, they generally had cybernetics, and these, the chests contain their goods, the stuff they had while they were alive. Um, so that, you know, it's good stuff. It should be really nice stuff. But I've been getting kind of really unlucky with this business. And it's just been grave goods. Okay, we need to take an herbary. I think I'm poisoned. I'm not sure if herbaries work if you're poisoned. We're being held in place by this okay we're gonna we're gonna use our geomagnetic disc and we're gonna discharge and we're gonna take another herbary 
The, the herbary is not working nearly as well as it should be. We're being held in place by like three freaking ferrets. This is why these ferrets are such a pain in the butt. Okay, we are finally free of that hell. There's nothing in this chest. What is going on? Tomb of the Eaters has been like absolutely garbage. <laughs> I mean, for real, it's been not okay. Sixty turns. We poisoned. It's amazing to me that those things actually like consistently get through my AV. Uh, 40 turns. Let's wait. 40 turns. Gorged. Okay. Yeah, tomb. Tomb is being like an absolute jerk right now. Okay. You're not recalled. I want to leave. I just want some good stuff. Wow. Okay, brain brine. That's not bad. We do have to eat quite a bit of that for another achievement. We could get really lucky and get a mutation from it. I think. Okay, we gotta we gotta herbary. I'm being very like risky right now. Partially, it's because uh, I you know I don't want to get recalled, and partially it's because I'm I'm a little bit impatient due to the nature of the tomb right now. And man, like I'm just like seeing a lot of rooms with open chests, meaning they're empty. We don't even get anything. Do we get stuff? Oh, I guess we get 65 XP for killing the ferrets. Okay, so never mind. We do get something for killing them. How many we okay, so we have another mutation point. Yeah. Um, might take a second and drink that brain brine. I actually think that there is a, uh, like, you can duplicate brain brine by throwing it into primordial soup. And essentially having it, uh, turn into a sentient slime. I don't know if I want to do that, though. I might try it. it. It could be fun. I think there's a, a couple of things that don't, that doesn't work with. Um, there's a couple of things that do not turn into slimes. Okay, we have 140 turns. We should be okay. Nothing in there. There's, there's an empty ch or a full chest. It's got something in it anyway. We'll go ahead and kill this guy. Anything cool? Oh, another brain brine. That's actually really great. Okay, so we could drink another brain brine. Well, like we could drink this brain brine and then uh, try our business with the, uh, you know, by duplicating the other brain brine. We could do something like that. Those are worth close to 400 XP each. Lacquered painted visage. Th that's really good. Um, pretty sure, is this a face item? Uh, it doesn't have any AV, unfortunately. I think that's probably why I haven't bothered with the visage. Because right now we actually get an AV from uh, our... <laughs> oh, I see. We named the uh, the Night Knight. The Night Knight Vision. Um, the Astroinus. I guess it was named after the... Uh, um, culture of the Kagan and on. <laughs> These are sentences you end up saying while you're playing Cud. Okay. Oh, there's a there's a, some more stuff. No, never mind. Grave goods. Well, we may as well take the grave goods. I don't think they're worth anything. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Wow. There's generally so much good stuff. In uh in the tomb like I can't tell you how many runs I've had in the tomb where like every single one of these has been filled to the brim with cool cybernetics and and all kinds of neat stuff and, and it's just been grave goods every time I feel like uh, 
I don't know. Engrave nine fold boots. I know I feel a little bit, uh, I sound maybe a little bit entitled, but damn. It's just like, I, I guess these nine fold boots are, are pretty good. I'll, I'll definitely take those. The best part, honestly, has been um, killing those robots because they, they're like the best reward of all. They're close to 400 XP each and they're really easy to kill. It's like a little alchemy lab right there. Boop, beep, boop. Kill. File. Wow, we keep getting brain brine. Honestly, I'll take it. Like, th that's... That is really good. It is actually really decent. Um, a, d a decent reward for us. 100 turns. Okay. Wow, we got another crazy uh humor here they don't we don't seem to be they don't they're not they're neutral to us so far uh, yeah they seem to be every single type of uh of of humor combined you can break this glass and go through here i don't know what's over here nothing apparently So I'm not sure. I think I've pretty much explored. No, no, there's there's still a couple of zones left. I've mostly explored all of um, this this uh, floor. Uh, that, that guy actually hurt us a little bit. Nothing in there. Grave goods. Can't believe it. You'd think that grave goods would be something that you could like. Um. I don't know, not disassemble, but like examine. It's like, oh, it's something cool or it's got some lore or something. Um, I don't know where it even is. Trade goods? I guess it is in trade goods. I think grave goods are actually worth trading. Like, I think they're worth something. Okay, we're good to move on. Ugh. He, he, I, it seems like the ferrets are actually looting the the chest themselves. Maybe that's what's happening. Because I'm I'm pretty sure there was something in there. Also, I I cannot believe the fact that we're going to be fighting another one of these freaking croco lads. I left you guys in that historic site for a reason. Oh, we got hit by confusion juice. What is this? Mimic? Oh, it's a mimic. Okay. Hilarious. Mimic was like pretending to be part of the wall. Wow. Wow. I'm just like not finding anything. I don't know. Did like did the ferrets rob the the tomb themselves? I was never aware of this fact. If if it's true. We are likely going to get recalled while I'm trying to mess around with this stupid thing. Um, let's get burrowing claws real... Okay, never mind. Let's not get burrowing claws. I think we can actually go over here instead. Oh my god. This is a nightmare. <laughs> Uh, let's temporal fugue actually, because they're gonna do the business for me, and and hit their geomatic uh, magnetic disc. It is doing a pretty good job right now. Like I say, it's it's good crowd control. I hope anyway. I just want to get tune tethered, so I don't have to get recalled away from here. I don't know how long I have. Hoping my hoping my uh, temporal friendos do the work for me, and I don't have to 
deal with this anymore. <laughs> okay, we're tomb ten tethered. Great. <laughs> the disc. The disc is so funny to me. It's just like flying everywhere. Remain stunned. Critically hit. Okay, good. I just want to see what's in this chest. I, 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 you can see maybe why I don't, um, I don't uh, use temporal fugue that often anymore. Scoped space inverter. That's nice. That's a, that's a pretty good get right there. Okay. A little bit concerned about how much poison is going on right now. These uh these little sluggos don't actually give me any XP either. So, they're not, not they're not really a great source of anything. Okay, I'm thinking I'm thinking we go upstairs cuz I I kind of don't want to be doing this no more. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Please don't die to a rocket turret on the on this floor. Sprint. Ah, uh, please don't die. There just had to be a rocket turret there, didn't there? Okay, we didn't die, but damn, that was close. They're, uh, fortunately the Mapengo are acting as a shield for me right now. There we go, got rid of that stupid turret. Okay, and we're tomb tethered. Oh, all right. I, I really did think that the Tomb of the Eaters was going to be a cakewalk, but I guess I am literally eating that word, aren't I? Can't cook with hostels nearby. I, I cannot tell you how much I hate these ferrets right now. All right. Whip up a meal. Choose ingredients. Let's uh, choose some ingredients. Uh, we, I don't know if we can cook. Can we cook with... Uh, Brain brine? I don't think so, right? I feel I feel like it like I am not it's just not worth it. Whenever you use a salver Uber Nostrum, you thirst for you don't thirst. Twenty-five percent chance of one of you there we go. We finally got it. We finally got the dream recipe, and that was my sixtieth recipe. Fantastic. Wow, this uh, this dude just killed my Mopango friend there. Painted pistol. And it has Reshe floor. Reshe floor that we didn't know. What could this possibly be? Painted phase harmonic high volt. Oh! Oh, oh my god! It's the dream! It's a phase harmonic high voltage arc winder with Reshe floor. Oh my god. There we go. I, all of my complaining about not finding anything cool has paid off, I guess. Why do we have so much stuff right now? Oh. Or sorry, why are we over, so overburdened? I don't understand. We're like several... We're, we're like 20 pounds overweight now. How did that happen? Is this arc winder that heavy? No. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's disassemble this space inverter. We've got enough stuff. I don't need to be keeping anything anymore. We have, like, a lot of these overloaded laser pistols, which I don't need. We're going to treat those as scrap. Disassemble. 
Um, I wonder, like, what my trinkets? These are these are okay. If you get EMP'd, your your small sphere of negative weights will 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 cease to wait, work, and then you'll suddenly find yourself overweight. So I'm not sure why. We have an eigen pistol here. We can um, get some bits from because we don't need it. Uh, so kind of want to mod this. I don't know what phase harmonic does. Uh, what does it do? Uh, this weapon can affect both in phase and out of phase objects. It's actually not good. And the reason it's not good is because it means that we can't mod it as much as we would like. I would like to give it jacked, of course, and also uh, scoped and masterwork. Right? Um, so the fact that it has phase harmonic is actually not great for us. Could be good, but, you know. So I'm going to take out this... Um, we're going to remove that cell. We're going to disassemble that cell. I am going to use my metamorphic polygel on this, by the way. Where did it go? It's in... Yeah, all right. So we need to... Look how much... How many cells... Okay, let's uh, disassemble all of these. We're in a pretty okay spot right now. We shouldn't be in any danger. Uh, let's disassemble one of these nuclear cells. We don't need a lot of those. I'm not going to disassemble the nuclear... The, the thermoelectric cells. Those are fine. They're at least worth keeping. You know, they're, they're, they're good weight. Oh, that's why we have like 30 sower seeds. I don't know why. Okay, we'll drop those. Um, okay, so we're going to mod this again. Can we not mod it anymore? Wait, how many? Jacked, painted. Maybe painted also takes up a slot. Oh, that would suck. That means we can't put uh, scoped on it. Oh, that would be a real bummer. Oh, that sucks. Like, getting the arc winder and then it has two mods on it that we can't take off is just kind of brutal. Let me see here. Um... I'm not sure if this is alphabetical or not. Jack scoped eigen pistol, mag hammer, electrified staff. Uh, no, crystal dagger, painted visage, antimatter cell, silver under, crystal mace. I could I could I could have modded all of my crystal maces to have like masterwork or something else and just didn't do it um hmm spring loaded item grants bonus move speed i should have put spring loaded onto our actual boots so yeah i think i think it's done um that is kind of a bummer i don't think i can really justify like copying this thing I'll certainly use it. We'll use it in addition to our spacer pistol, but uh, yeah, it's it's not as good as we would like. We'll we'll put in an antimatter cell. At least it's jacked, so it doesn't uh, you know it runs on our power. But oh, that that really does suck. I know it's like uh, again I, I'm kind of like. Well, how can you how can you complain? You just got like a really really good weapon. Yeah, I definitely did, but you know, like it's not nearly as good as it could be. And to be fair, we have to spend quite a lot of bits to make it good, right? So, uh, I don't know. It's it's fine. We can we can try it. Like it's it's good. It's really good damage. And the nice thing is we can shoot like every turn. It does use up quite a lot of power though. You gotta keep that in mind. We have a lot of power to spare for sure. But um, it's still it's still a power hog. 
20 rounds. You were not recalled. Okay, let's continue. So I think we're pretty much good to go. Uh, I'm going to move to the next floor. I'm sure there's more stuff to collect. Maybe it would be worthwhile sticking around, but I've got some uh, cherub gods to kill. I am going to um, swap out our... Are we tomb tethered here? I think we are. Ambient astral friction here. Pretty sure that means that we can't temporal fugue up here, which would be bad. I'm going to make some EMP grenades. I'm pretty sure that um, some of the cherubs, at the very least, will be robots. This is going to weigh us down a bit. If they're not robots, then I'm going to go ahead and make some freeze grenades. So that way we're prepared for either uh, robots or, you know, everything else. That means we are going to be overburdened, so we're going to have to get rid of some other stuff. We could get rid of flash bangs, high explosive. I mean, high explosive grenades are great. Um, the thing to rec remember, and I have to, I'm actually just reminding myself here, is that uh, the cherubs, they deflect pretty much every uh, everything. They, they deflect all projectiles, so a lot of ranged, uh, you know, attacks don't work and that's why grenades are actually really good they will deflect grenades but um it doesn't really matter because you can throw the grenades nearby and they'll take the aoe damage uh let's go ahead and treat this as scrap and disassemble it that uh, mag hammer has been weighing us down for a while now um let's also disassemble the vibro dagger it's worthwhile but not for us and we'll drop the electrified staff. There's really no reason for us to keep that either. All right. You're still carrying too much. What? 695. How did we get to 695? I just dropped a bunch of stuff. What? I swear to God, I saw it at 640 something. Water container. Um, I don't know, we could drop some of this stuff. Probably not worth keeping a lot of this business. 96, what do we got here? Artifacts. Oh, we've got a bunch of artifacts to uh, examine. Normality gas grenade, that could be good actually, but we'll disassemble that for now. Sorry, I guess it wasn't worth it. Poison gas grenade. That this means uh, we don't. Act, we should. What we should do is uh, cook with some bananas right now. Pretty sure we do have some bananas, right? Just to get to the psychometry, so we can disassemble some of this stuff. Sun dried banana. All right, uh, and that way we can just like get rid of a bunch of this stuff. Prevents you from altering space-time and the local region. You can try to push through it. Okay, so that's a bit of an issue. Too complex. So we, because of the normality, we actually can't use psychometry right now. What we should do is just move to the stair down here. And then we can do this normally. Um, let's go ahead and disassemble one of these ontological anchors. What do these do again? I'm pretty sure these, like, prevent someone from being, uh, attacked by, like, psychotic, uh, psych psychic attacks or something. Glitter grenade. These are, these can be good. Read. Acid gas grenade. Disassemble. Can be good as well. Read. Implant motorized treads. Those are 75 pounds. So that's, that's what's been weighing us down. So um, it's going to be a major cost to us to um, try and temporal fugue. It will, however, be worth it because, you know, we're just going to gain a, a bunch of damage. So what do we have here? Uh, salt fish cherub. Cast of salt cherub. Cherubium. T plus 10 willpower, so they're going to be pretty good against our uh, psychic attacks. Um, plus 10 intelligence. Attacks discharge clockwork beetles. Um, 
Okay, so I think it's kind of worth killing these lads. The, the only thing is I'm a little bit worried is uh, I, I haven't really set a checkpoint in a long time. So what I'd like to do actually is we're going to go down here to tools. You, you might consider this a coward a coward's way out. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> That's cool with me, honestly. Um, kind of want to just make a fresh recoiler. Somewhere in here, there's a recoiler for th that I can reuse. It might be the, the Bethesda Sousa one, because um, that was for a our last chamber. So I'm going to imprint this. Does not have enough charge, really. Okay, replace cell. We'll put we'll we'll shove a new thermoelectric cell in there. Why not? Imprint. Okay, so now, now that we've imprinted this, we're gonna go to Eat Freehold. We might probably go to uh, Great Gate and dump a bunch of stuff off. This is just so that we can set, set a checkpoint so that uh, you know I don't die, <laughs> or if I do die, then um, you know the cost is not having to redo all of the tomb because that was kind of a major pain in the butt, if I'm being honest. Um, and like while we're out and about um, in the in, in back in the back in the the land of the cud, we uh, I wouldn't mind sh going back to the um, legendary Iker merchant. And uh, you know we're running into the end of the episode here, so probably in the next episode I will uh, you know do the cherub, and I am gonna pretty much you know we're gonna we're gonna kill all of the cherub uh, just for the experience. Like, it's just, they're really good experience, and it's kind of fun, and it'll be a good benchmark for, like, how strong we are. So, it's it's 100% worth it. Uh, Hulk honey? Sure, we'll buy a Hulk honey. And let's see, do we have anything cool here? So, uh, I am going to use our cloning business on oh spacer pistol that's kind of nice buy a uh, sphinx salt injector i am going to use the cloning draught on um our legendary icker merchant it's just it's just worthwhile you know let's sell these ulnar stimulators because uh getting neutron flux is going to be important getting more brain brine like we have almost infinite money now so with infinite money in mind what would you want what do you want <laughs> what do you want there's so much good stuff all the time you know um journal merchants all the dromads and aha uh -huh. legendary Icar the east and south of greek gate okay so we may as well go to greek gate I don't need to... I'm not going to dump anything in my chest. I'm not going to take anything out of it either. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know... I'm pretty... I don't even know if it has all that much stuff in it anymore. Because I, I think I, I raided it recently. We could hand in that uh, heightened... That congealed love business. Actually, yeah, let's do that now. We have enough tonics that I can, I can afford to do this. Um, I'm going to have to cook... Preserve, love injector, two of them. Into ten servings. Wow, I didn't even need to do that. Apparently you get five servings from one thing. Well, I mean, we're definitely going to make use of that stuff. Because, uh, you know, beguiling is a really good way of making friends as well. Um, so we're going to go to food, congealed love, drop, five accept your offering gives you 350 skill points nice worth it absolutely worth it we could definitely buy a few more skills and if this goes well if we get another uh, draught of neutron flux here then um, we could be doing a new quest in the next episode oh, I didn't mean to do that I'm pretty sure they had bad reputation 
Oh, they... They were not liked by... So they were not liked by mollusks, okay. Oh, no. Hmm, I don't know. Well, I had some uh, gossip, apparently. I could ask them for some, for some secrets. So, what do you have? You have some uh, cool info that I already know about. Do do do. Um, you have some cloning draught. That'll be good. What do you have here? Anything good? Nope. You have some brain brine, cloning uh, draught, and sun slag. Definitely, I will buy the sun slag and the cloning draught and the brain brine. So let's go ahead and sell everything else. What does this do again? Deploy tur teaches deploy turret to anyone who reads it. I I don't really want to keep that anymore. It can't, it's not really worthwhile. We're going to go ahead and trade all of these thermoelectric cells. That's pretty much already going to make the difference. And we're going to sell this floating glow sphere, full right daggers, crystal dagger. We're almost there. We can pretty much make the difference with some like just garbage. I still really like the Eigen pistols. I think that they're really, you know, viable. Um, okay, so apparently these grave goods are not worth anything. They're like truly worthless. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> we can sell this one dram of lava. And we can sell this water skin of cider. So let's do that. That's a good trade. And I'm going to... Oh, there's a, already a cloneling here. They don't seem to be doing anything, though. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our water container, cloning draught, um, pour nearby. There we go, one dram. Uh... A grotesque pr protuberance swells from legendary Icar merchant's back as it be it, he begins to bud. They read the, the analog lexicon, Duckabet. <laughs> they now know how to deploy turret. So we're just, uh, there we go. Now there's a second one. And I actually kind of want to have a third one. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Um, pour. Uh, nearby. There. The process begins again. And um, this is going to ensure that basically every time we do a bunch of stuff, we can come here, buy some, some good juices that, you know, we want more than uh, a bunch of junk, you know? Like, it's all really good stuff. Like, I'm going to go ahead and drink this sun slag. Quickness is permanently increased by one. That's just, like, amazing. Uh, drink that enough times and we'll be so quick that we can actually, like, take extra turns. And I do want to drink this brain brine. I'm still, I think maybe in the next episode, I'm going to play around with maybe throwing that into some primordial soup just to see what happens. I actually, well, it's unctuous, unfortunately, but I have some primordial soup on me. So let's just wait for that. Okay, so that Iker Merchant is uh, back. They're not going to have anything on them right now because they just... You know, they're fresh into the world, so they need some time to to make some goods. But that's, yeah, that's going to do it. Um, if you're enjoying this series, definitely get that, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. In the next episode, we're going to visit the Rainbow Wood, try and try some stuff with the Brain Brian, and then after that, we're going to start fighting some cherubs just to, just to have some, you know, have some fun, kill some cherubs. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Da 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 da